reacting to this because I know how much uh, detransitioning triggers LGBT people. And I, I, I wanted to see this side of it, this short segment, this side of detransitioning. So let's check that out. I wish the games were like this. I wish the games were actually like this, but they're not. <laughs> I was born biologically female. I... Okay, so it's a female, biological female, good. I was born biologically female. I began transitioning and taking hormones when I was 18 years old. Growing up, I couldn't pinpoint what my issues were, and then I realized that it might be a gender issue. When I turned 18, I did go to Planned Parenthood. I just stated that I had gender dysphoria and they gave me testosterone a week later. Before I went on hormone therapy, I wasn't required to see any therapist or any sort of a doctor. Dude, man, her voice is still so fucked. After I was on hormone Dude, why would you do therapist. that? Why would you want to go from being a pretty girl to an ugly boy? I know it's not about visuals, it's about what you feel inside. Why would you want to go from being a pretty girl to an ugly boy? This is why you don't bully mans and looks, fam. That's why you don't bully mans and look. You ruin their lives, fam, like this. Just about getting approval for top surgery. I walked in on one appointment for half an hour, and then she emailed my insurance for approval, just like that. Even at this point, when I was passing as a man, I still had these doubts in the back of my mind that said, what if you're wrong? What if you made a mistake? In the end, I decided- You do it once. I think you've done so much damage to your body that it's hard, man. Do it again. Unlimited, probably. Yeah, but you're doing damage. All that hormone, you've, your body doesn't know what to fucking do. Not to do the surgery. At that point that I decided to detransition and live my life. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. As an adult, it took me it, a it, it just to looks it. right. It looks right. Why would you go from being a pretty girl to a fucking ugly boy? Why would you do that? Who I was and who I wanted to be. Kids especially need to see a therapist before making any sort of permanent medical decisions like going on hormone blockers and... She's done irreparable damage to her voice though. I don't know how, how much longer afterwards this is. But we'll see if it fills Dr. Phil's interview is like. Especially. I mean, they don't even know what they want for dinner the next day, let alone what... Nah, why would they lie? The biggest mistake look at that, me was that I look at that look at that look at that why would you want to go from that to the fucking one of my subscribers sorry sorry to say why would you want to go from that even bogdy would tell you why would you go from that on the left to me to me did not get the right amount of therapy or medical advice needed. These days, if you tell a parent if their child thinks that they Bogdi. might be gender or has gender... Bogdi. ...dysphoria, to wait and really consider it and maybe seek other therapy, you're just seen as transphobic now because you're not accepting people. I'm not anti-trans at all. I support the trans community very much, but I also support medical responsibility. If... If you question this at all, you get labeled really quickly. Correct? Um, you know what her pro particular problem was? She was pretty as a girl, so got attention her whole life. When it became male, that all went. Maybe. So then why would she want to become a male? If she got all the attention being a woman, why would she become a male? Then what made her think she was a male after she got all that attention with being pretty? You do immediately is transphobic. Why do you think that is? I think that a lot of the transgender community, they're so, they push so much for acceptance. You know what's the problem now is, even though she's detransitioned and she is biologically female and sh passes as female, because of her fucking voice, everyone's gonna think she's trans and avoid relationships. F female, male, trans, that's say the same. Her voice is so fucked, people will just assume she's trans. And she'll never be able to clear up the misconception. She can say, no, I am biologically female. I did transition. My voice is fucked. I detransitioned. Dude, what could be more interesting than this? 
when you immediately, like, or any time you start to like question them, even if it's like out of the kind goodness of your heart to try and make sure that they're making the right decision, anything that goes against their narrative is just immediately labeled as transphobic. Now, after you started the transition, uh, how else did you begin to change your life to live as a man? I had changed my name. I started wearing a binder. Um, I even moved cities. John, oh, that is, is good. She detransitioned. Whatever her, whatever her fucking motivation stuff that was, this ain't the way. This just ain't the way. Hesitant to actually come out to like coworkers, so I moved about four hours away. They get shit done themselves. No support. Males off and alone. Yeah. Okay. And what happened when you... So, people... This is exactly... I mean, Kazi, you're right. Even, even like... Like being smart and knowing what this world is like. Why would you ever want to become male? Because <laughs> once you're that and you identify as that and you tell everyone you're that, you're going to get treated like that. And you want to be alone when you're dealing with mental issues. But it's a lot easier for a woman to get sympathy when she's depressed. Like all these streamers, these girl streamers. Oh, Alana Pierce, I'm depressed. I got chronic fatigue syndrome. Oh, money, 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 just for sympathy. Dude, dude, dude uh, wants sympathy being a content creator. No one gives that shit. No one gives them that fucking thing. Time to get a double mastectomy. I haven't had any uh, top surgeries, but I did get approved for it. Um, okay, and how good, no surgery, good. And how that worked, it was scarily easy to do because I had just called a therapist um, and I had scheduled one. So it, this is exactly it. It's so easy to go one way. It's so easy to get enabled and get tra transition surgery and all the hormones you fucking want. All the fucking hormones you want and all the surgeries and that. But going the other way, to 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 reconcile your birth gender, your biological gender with you and, and your perceived gender, therapy for that, to come to terms with it. And where's the therapy for that? They didn't get no surgery. For like a they got proved. To talk about. And I essentially walked in, I said, I identify as transgender and I want to get top surgery. And we chatted for a bit, maybe for half an hour. And at the end of the session, she wrote me an approval letter to send to my insurance. The voice though. I got approved. Just like that. That, that is the scar that's left on her. Started, you went in, you said to Planned Parenthood, yes. and they gave you testosterone mm -hmm. immediately. Yeah, I essentially just made a phone call. And immediately. Transition, and it was immediately given. I Dude, they, they did not even bother to... I mean, maybe she's missing bits out. They did not even bother to ask, this is what you want. We can help you therapy. Where's the therapy for the other way? Why is it such a why is it such a, a taboo thing to try and convince someone? It's not the same as being gay or lesbian or gay or let you know what I mean. This is all in the head. The fact that you can transition and detransition is fluid. It's all in your head. It's not permanent. Back from Yvette's stream. What was she streaming? Let me guess some sci-fi game or something and went to pick it up like a week later. Did they ask you questions? Did they do any psychological testing? Did they ask you why? Yeah. What was your motive? It was your... completely self-diagnosed. Self-diagnosed. Diagnosed. There is no therapy. You come in, say whatever you are. Testosterone, maybe. I claimed that I had gender dysphoria and I wanted to transition and they didn't really ask She's still prettier than the boy she became. Still prettier than the boy she became. Called them and I said, Why would you fucking do, like what made, I hope they taught, this video is nearly done. Who put this in your head to become a boy? Put this in your head. Write me a prescription for it and send it. You had, it's, it's fucking insidious. I never saw a therapist about it. You, you, insidious. Yeah, I didn't talk to anyone about it. Nobody medically professionally. I had just looked up. I did some like trans research, I guess, into the transgender community and everybody online, and they just seemed so happy and successful. And at the time, I didn't see any information on detransition or any like the negatives about it. And so I kind of got completely wrapped into that. Gender dysphoria can be a miserable way to live if that's what they're experiencing. And there are criteria for that. And one of the criteria is time that is persistent across time. 
Manchester. That's easy. Manchester is like a cultural capital. It's not officially a cultural capital, but it could be. A, it could be one. And I had confused that. If not, if London wasn't. As gender dysphoria and being uncomfortable with my body. So I didn't actually have gender dysphoria. I had just confused myself into thinking that I did. Do you have a? My, I, have, I have relatives who live in Dallas and Houston. In the description and tell me the doctors. What is going on? They're too westernized, though, that part of my family. They're too liberal and too westernized. They're on the Democrat train. They love Bill Gates. They love the vaccines. They'll do anything the FDA, well, not the FDA. They'll do anything the government says. Sign up my family, trans or gay. Neither. Neither. That's not even a choice for me. Neither. Do you remember those um, Mexican male stereotypes? You better watch out for that sly, horny Mexican uh, gentleman. He'll steal your wife. There's always those um, the caricatures on TV the, of the dashing Mexican gentleman who will steal steal the your wife away. I think they even did it in um, The Simpsons. Marge, Marge, uh, Homer Simpson thought Marge was having an affair and there was some wily Mexican dude, dancer or something, and he's like spinning around and says, you're now pregnant, <laughs> some joke, <A> caricature. <laughs> dude, the things they do to ethnic minorities, the first thing they do is trying to make you look like horny rapists, they do that a lot, white people do that a lot. The Pakistanis, Indians, Sri Lankans are, are groomers and rapers and rapists and rapists. They try to they try to make them as unappealing to the female uh, spe female species as possible. So the, the dehumanization has multiple angles. You never see that with white peeps. Like you never now associate white peeps as being racist, the rapists, even though the majority of rapists are white. <laughs> it's like taking a minority, smaller group, and say no. Associate them with grooming, associate them with radicalization, with rape, with incest, with this, with this, with this, with this. That's where they begin, man. All right, all right, all right. Just, I don't care. I used to be more, more center left leaning, but I've seen the inconsistency on the left. Yeah, I mean, even, even Christians have marriages, second cousin marriages. Christianity, you're allowed to marry second cousins, and a lot of them do. They don't talk about it, but a lot of them do. We have cousin marriages, yeah. It's a problem because that means that we're so stuck in our ways, either caste systems, or we literally cannot abide by having our sons marrying people who, who we don't vouch for or vet and that kind of thing. It, it happens less so now, though. Less so now. It, it used to happen in my mom's generation. It doesn't happen as much now. Families want to be insulated. They don't want an unsafe marriage. You don't want to marry into like a random family from Balochistan or, or North Pakistan and, and the culture clash. And just warring families. Because the warring family thing came from my mom's generation. Even though they were still married cousin marriages. The warring families were still a thing of that generation. So something was going wrong. Something was still going wrong. God damn. God damn. God damn. Alright, let's go. Trails. Actually, before I... Ah, fuck it. There is one comment here that says, I'm the exact same as her. I took hormones at 18 because I identified as FTM, female to male. I'm 24 now, detransitioned back to female. People hate detransitioners for no reason. And they're so dystopian. 
I transitioned because I was severely depressed and a lone teenager and I felt that I didn't fit in anywhere in life. So I found solace in the online trans community where everyone praised you for being unique and weird. I was chronically online. I strongly believe that if I wasn't so alone and lived and breathed social media, I would have never blamed my gender for my problems. 2.1k likes. That's the last word. That's the last word on it. Love it. Yeah, but uh, dude, they spent too long on fucking. They spent too long on. She blamed social media. Yeah. The, the trans community online were enablers. They enabled her. They didn't ask if she, this was the right decision to make. Well, are you sure? They enabled her immediately. It's like Kaiser says, you can't be born trans. Like, you need to convert kids. You need to convert people over to trans ideology to grow your numbers. Their numbers won't grow because once you're trans, you're... You, you, you're a, you're a woman who you're not gonna have a kid because you're a man and you're taking hormones. You can't you can't the the, the population the birth rate of the trans doesn't exist. You need to convert people over to your side. So so they need to enable people, you know, to hell with making sure that this is the right decision for you. You know what I mean? It's such a clear cut. We need to stop making this a complicated gray area sort of matter. Being gay or lesbian is a grey area. It's a very big grey area. Even the Muslim community understands there's a big difference between transgender and the issue of being gay and lesbian. They're two different things. One's, one is grey and the other part is very clear cut. We need to stop saying that trans is grey and they, they're hiding behind LGBT and black rights movements and things. Dude, nigga, you have all the rights. As a trans person, you have human rights that everyone has. You're not withheld your human rights just because you identify as someone else. So stop fucking complaining. Just because people treat you differently, treat you differently for transitioning, you know, it's not their responsibility, it's not uh, uh, government's responsibility to fucking back you up and defend you. you. That's a consequence of your decision. Now you transition from female to male to female and you have a hard, you're having a harder time uh, getting a job because you're female or you're interested in building work and you're a builder that fucking transitioned to a woman and now the, the builders may, won't give you the job because they acknowledge that you're a fucking woman and you're going to be weaker and whatever, I don't know. You know, you should research, not be enabled all the time. Yeah, trans aren't the same as LGB, bun the T, yeah. They, they, they've, 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 they're like parasites, they've attached themselves onto um, LGB to, to, to legitimize themselves. And there's a lot, there's a huge movement in the LG, LGB community to, to have the T removed. It's because we, we have nothing to do with these terminally online, mentally ill uh, radicals, you know, so... Great. Great. Why did it close?